Welcome back to ESA's Earth from Space program. Today we take a look at Mali, the capital and most populous city in the Republic of Maldives. The Maldives consist of a chain of around 1,200 small coral islands that are grouped together into clusters of atolls, scattered across 90,000 square kilometers of ocean. A number of these little islands can be seen in the image, with the turquoise colors depicting clear shallow waters dotted by coral reefs, which contrast with the dark colors of the Indian Ocean. Mali, located at the southern edge of the North Mali Atoll, can be easily spotted from space. The island is small enough to walk around in approximately one hour, with most sites concentrated on its northern shore. Mali is both a trade and tourist center, connected with Sri Lanka and India by steamship lines, with several vessels visible in the image. With a population of more than 200,000 and an area of around 8 square kilometers, Mali is one of the most densely populated cities in the world, with a city covering almost the entire island. The Maldives also has the lowest terrain of any country in the world, making the archipelago particularly vulnerable to sea level rise. In response to this threat, the Maldives is working on enhancing the resilience of the country's islands, which includes constructing the artificial island of Hulhul Male, visible northeast of the airport. The island has been constructed by pumping sand from the seafloor onto a submerged coral platform that rises around two meters above sea level. The reclaimed land provides some much needed space and will also help meet the industrial and commercial development of the region. Satellite data have shown that the global ocean has risen, on average, 3 millimeters a year over the last 25 years. Warming ocean waters, melting glaciers, and diminishing ice sheets is making rising sea levels a real threat for low-lying islands such as the Maldives. Following liftoff in November 2020, the Copernicus Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite, the most advanced mission dedicated to measuring sea level rise, is now fully operational meaning that its data are available to climate researchers, ocean weather forecasts, and other data users. Learn more about the Sentinel-6 mission by visiting our website at www.esa.int. Earth from Space is taking a short break during the month of August, but join us again in September for a weekly tour of our planet, every Friday at 10 a.m. Are there any locations you would like us to feature? Make sure you let us know in the comments below. From everyone at the Earth From Space team, we wish you all a lovely summer.